The exotic beauty of the underwater world holds a fascination that has stirred man's imagination since time began. Explorer, the discovery of this magnificent Grand Canyon in the depths is satisfaction enough. But imagination is never satisfied. With such a fabulous stage setting, why not a show, an extravaganza with live performers? And so was conceived the world's greatest underwater spectacle at Wikiwachi, spring of live mermaids on Florida's west coast. With a cast of beautiful mermaids in a thrilling performance of beauty and daring. Every one a skilled athlete, every one a star. But stars are not born, at least not in this exacting profession. It's a few short months ago, and Bonnie is interviewed by Thea Jorgensen, who will be her trainer. The qualifications are beauty of face and figure, and the ability to take directions and face long hours of strenuous physical discipline. Once she is accepted, Bonnie's training begins immediately. In the coming weeks, her determination and Thea's experienced teaching will combine to create another mermaid star. Bonnie learns first to tread water with knees stiff. She watches as Thea demonstrates, then goes under to imitate this basic movement. She realizes the importance of foot flippers to give balance and power underwater. One of the most beautiful routines in the show is the flowing knee-back dolphin, every muscle perfectly coordinated for smooth, liquid motion. Bonnie will learn to pace herself to match the tempo of her partner when this lovely routine is performed in the show. The ease and confidence of the seasoned performer comes through to the audience in the great underwater theater when she removes the mask to smile. But how can you smile underwater? Let's watch Thea. Very pretty. Now Bonnie. <laughs> Not so easy. This time, open your mouth when you smile. That's better. The foot first dolphin presents a real test of skill in grace and mobility. If Bonnie can master this difficult maneuver, she will prove she has the talent and determination to make the grade. And she comes through with flying colors. After a thorough physical checkup, equipment is issued, and Bonnie is assigned to a cottage where she will live with other girls under the supervision of a house mother. On land exercise begins to keep every muscle supple and set the pattern for the poised symmetry of motion that marks the accomplished athlete. The care and feeding of a mermaid means balanced menus, carefully planned by an experienced dietitian to assure the stamina and well-being of every performer. Back in the spring for practice in hose breathing, controlled breathing must become so disciplined that it is automatic. Bonnie learns to clear her ears from pressure by breathing hard into the mask in preparation for the deep dive. Confidence is building rapidly now. Bonnie is ready for the airlock. The huge conch shell submerged 16 feet under the surface on the face of the canyon wall. Here, performers stand in waist-deep water to await their cue to enter the spring. Air is pumped into the chamber under constant pressure. Bonnie watches closely as Thea swims out, performs a dolphin, and returns. Relaxed and confident, Bonnie swims out, alone in the vast canyon, on her own now. Beautifully done.
What a thrill of accomplishment for both teacher and pupil. Bonnie's accomplishments will be many before school is out. As her training progresses, she learns to pose for the cameras. The poise she has developed really counts now. As hostess, she welcomes the audience as they enter the huge underwater theater and takes her turn in the control room announcing and directing the thrilling routines of her teammates. And she must know every routine, like learning that the friendly fish cooperate beautifully at mealtime, but the swift current flowing at the rate of 50 feet a minute makes it difficult to stay put. Eating underwater? And so daintily, too. Thea makes it look so easy. It must be all this work has given Bonnie an appetite. And a thirst, too. Theo shows her pupil how to relax the throat muscles, swallow, and force the liquid out. Graduation time draws near, and Thea prepares her student for the deep dive to the bottom of the spring 117 feet below the surface equal to the height of a 10-story building. Inhaling air from the hose, and then forcing air into the mask to balance the increasing pressure on their ears. For every 33 feet they descend, the body pressure increases over 14 pounds per square inch. They fight the tremendous pressure surging up from the spring at the rate of 116,000 gallons every minute. made it. Now to discard the air hose. And come soaring to the surface. But not too fast. Graceful acrobatics. Taking time to adjust to the lessening pressure before reaching the surface. Thus, a mermaid is born. The great day arrives, and Bonnie is a star in the world's most spectacular underwater show at Weeki Wachi, spring of live mermaids on Florida's fabulous West Coast. <laughs>